Greetings, Double Fear of the Goods tonight here. Today we're doing a review on carrying really minimalist medical equipment. So for today, something I've had for the past several years, but never really got around to uh, making a video on, the Coyote Tactical Solutions Burrito Non-Edible Edition. So <laughs> what we got here is a very tiny sort of a IFAC ordeal going on, individual first aid kit. That's designed to be very streamlined to carry the bare minimum. Now this, we're going to call this one here version 2.0. The key difference being version 1.0 had a little piece of, uh, was it 550 cord? Just kind of like sewn in here instead of this laser cut pull tab. So that's pretty neat. But we, we have, what we have here today, and why this video is more important, is that they recently, from what I've seen, is the new 3.0. Wow, so much cooler, right? Well. We're going to get to why that is here in a second. So the 2.0 had a lot of similarities to the 1.0. Mostly the main change was this laser cut here, but it has this very simple four-piece laser cut in the back. So you got you can actually see on the inside all the contents and stuff going on there, all that craziness. And that allows you to mount it to your belt normally. So it sits like this, and you can have your little tourniquet and everything on the bottom. Or you can mount it uh, vertically if you wanted to stand upwards. So you can have access to the side and be able to rip that open and pull out your medical kit. Now the kits are stored in these cool little bags. I've actually put mine together myself. Was this the A-Lock or whatever? A-Lock Sack. A-Lock Sack. Oh, cool. Isn't that neat? Come with those little baggies. I got my little nasal airway, a few of the basics. Lots of uh, gauze dressings, some uh, chest seals, and then the, whatchamacallit, the little quick clot. Super popular. All the cool kids love their quick clots. So, you got all that going on. You pop this open, you got the little bit of Velcro there, more Velcro down here. And you got the little inside. Nothing too fantastic, nothing too crazy to write home about just yet. So, this obviously, from the 1.0 and the 2.0 versions you got out there, was pretty underwhelming in regards to mounting, because I like the Velcro belts. And when you need to maximize your Velcro space, having this dead area here really uh, kills a lot of the uh, potential grip you would have. So yeah, that was kind of an issue. They do have this cool laser cut up here, so they do have this bit of uh, molly webbing up here. But that would only particularly be useful if your goal was to mount it this way. Which didn't make a whole lot of sense, now did it? So, what you end up doing is they were like, well you know what would be really cool? What if we addressed that issue that everyone was bringing up, and we corrected it with our version 3.0. Bam! The power of laser cut. So now you have a additional piece of material that's laser cut into, and you've got these cool minimalist little belt loops. This is my favorite part here. I'm still waiting on my new tier belt to come in to replace my Ronin belt, because the Ronin belt shoots itself in the foot. Uh, you got these two bits like here. So if you are mounting it directly to any general belt, particularly one that uses Velcro, you're not taking up all that much space. You're not going to lose the grip in the middle, you're still going to have lots of grip, and it's going to stay. And it's laser cut and really well made, and even reinforced. Look at that, reinforced stitching. Ain't that something. And of course you're probably thinking, well what if I like mounting my pouches this way? Well, congratulations, there's a... Uh, up here at the... well you can still belt mount it that way, but in addition, from the side, dude! Check that out, that's pretty neato. And of course you got these added laser cuts here, so if you want to use your Tactical Tailor Malice Clips Light Edition with the little cutaways, then these will also slide right up in there. And bam, they're not really separated immediately, but if you want to mount that directly onto the Velcro... I don't have any molly on, on this chest rig. Uh, you can mount that directly to your plate carrier. You can what, actually fit through here. Let me see. I don't know, I'll go straight through there, and you can mount that up there if you want to do some dumb reason. But yeah, now you can mount it directly, and once you get it through these two bits in the center, then the, the molly, the malice clips are going to stay in place. The molly's all going to be sexy. And now you're not using any Velcro on your belt. Or you can mount it directly to your plate carrier, your pack, whatever you need. But that's all assuming you don't just want to like throw your medical kit in your abdominal pouch here. Actually, that will fit, right? Would it? Yeah, so you can actually just jam that in there if you want to save space altogether and not even have to worry about it. So it is a cool addition. Generally, you're going to be keeping other small navigational tools and administrative stuff in here. You'll be keeping tools and administrative stuff in here. Actually, you know what? 
All right. Okay, so this thing fits just about everywhere, so you can have your medical supplies to go. You can throw it in your bag when you're not doing super high-speed, cool tactical things. You do got options. And options are super gangster, yo. So, if we're going out, and I got this filled with candy bars and snacks, and this is full of, like, I don't know, yo-yos and fireworks and other stuff no one really needs, we'll just pop open our little clip here. I'm not about to put this on the belt. That'd take forever. What we're going to do... So we're just going to weave that into the belt loop. Pachin. And one more time it goes pachin. And now that we got our medical supplies right on us. Bam! This thing's actually a little heavy. Maybe I should make that a tighter. And yeah, bam, we got all the medical supplies right back there. So, for the sake of brevity, We've covered, well, you can mount it obviously any way you want, which is the cool thing with the uh, newer one. And you're not going to be exposing any parts of the bag to your belt or anything that could provide friction that may or may not, in time, erode the uh, structural integrity of the bag. So you stay maritime secure. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, cool one, and this one actually, I would swear this one's actually slightly bigger than the older version. Because the older version, you were really, uh, really pushing it. Yeah, they're about the same size. This one just feels bigger. I think it's because it's newer. But, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to outfit this one real quick. So, what do we like to keep going here? Well, first off, the good old pre-packed baggie of supplies goes right up in here. Yeah, there we go. Make that nice and comfy. And yeah, we got tons of room to spare. I can actually probably jam some extra medical supplies in there. That's neat. Alright, so we got part one going, the most important part, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a little tourniquet here, you know, just in case. Start suffering some uh, bleeding from the extremities, you know. Whatever terrible bad things can happen. Hopefully you won't even need it. Hopefully you'll come across someone else who needs it more than you do, if it needs to be used at all. And yeah, tourniquet fits nicely in there. It's already staged, ready to go, so Tourniquet's ready. Oh, it does sit a little bit off to the side, but you know, whatever. Take your emergency shears. We're just going to jam those up in there. Actually, I guess we could mount them through there if we were feeling pretty suave. Mount them through this back area here. We got some options. We're just going to keep them pretty standard. I like mine underneath my tourniquet. There we go. Weave those on in. That's a little unpleasant. I really got to find a better place to put these. be nice if I had a shear bag. There you go. That works. So yeah, we got our shears in there. Then, last but not least, you want to make sure you know your blood type. In case things get particularly nasty, we're going to put that right there. Ta-da! And then we only, people need to know it's a medical bag. I mean, if people don't know where to look for medicine, use your technically copyrighted Red Cross. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought the Red Cross thing was just like, hey, you know, everyone, but now apparently they got like a copyright and stuff on it, and they like to sue people for using it, so, uh... If it's a great wife, who's will be fine. They won't, they're not going to check. I don't think they actually really enforce this. It. It's just like one of those weird things that they only really go after gamers for. Because, you know, gamers are most oppressed in the world. Anyway, so <laughs> you got our bag together. That's it. That's all that goes into it. Nice, comfy. I could probably find a way to get these scissors actually inside the bag and then be okay. Will you fit in there? They're probably going to fall out. <laughs> so... I'm probably going to have to find some better way to get these scissors mounted in here. I'm sure there's something I'm just not thinking. Will they fit in here? Actually, you know what? With all the extra space in the bag, I'd be surprised if they just don't fit in the bag to begin with. Will they fit? What if I do this? What if we get creative here, guys? What if we do something absolutely wild and intuitive? Uh, Alright, so you can technically have your scissors in there. Oh, it's wild. Oh, they added, um, some of the cool things is he had on the first one. We had Recovery Tactical Solutions, but now, with the 3.0, made in the USA. Which means I can officially give it the Good Sir Knight's seal of approval, because we like our American-made goods here. Canada's okay. The Pharaoh. Canada's alright. Britain gets wonky. Their boys over the, across the pond, so. There you go. I got it all together. It's nice, small, effective, and I can take everything out and jam it in this pouch. I can throw it in my backpack. But most importantly, what I'm probably going to do is I'm, when my new tier belt gets here, that was totally not uh, the original 
design that was ripped off by uh, Rhododactics. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually malice clip that to there and we'll all be good and Gucci. And now I got a cool uh, older generation one that I can give to someone in my squad so they can be up to speed with all the high cool, high speed cool gear stuff. So, and of course, this all I gotta throw some degree of experience in here. Uh, Marine Corps wise, you got the big old IFAC thing. What was interesting about the IFAC is you had your oh snap, I'm gonna die sealed baggie of medical gear, and then you had like your smaller band aids, water purification, iodine stuff in another bag, and all is just one big pouch strapped onto your body. So. If you got a cut on your finger, and you're like, oh, I don't want that getting infected. You had to open your eye fag and you get your tiny baggie. But then when you're putting the bandage on your, on your finger, you get shot poof, straight through the shoulder because you're doing joint ops with the army and they don't, they don't know where the weapon safety was. And you're like, ah, so then you got to get the tourniquet, the quick clot and stuff. So all of it just jammed together. I thought it kind of sucked. So now what I like about this setup is you have your trauma gear, your oh snap, things have gone horrendously wrong, I will never need this in any other sense, pouch. And if you did need your band-aids and small mini boo-boo kit, you can throw them all in like one of these pouches, put them in a small Ziploc baggie. And that's just a really cool and smart way to do it, in my opinion. That's, what, that's my opinion, I could be wrong. There could be people doing it differently, but you know, well, the Marine Corps clearly is doing it differently, so. Anyway. Cool pouchy. These sell for like 45 bucks. I, checking the website for uh, Coyote Tactical Solutions for their pack, they still show the older model pictures. So they could be selling the new one for 45 bucks. I bought this one for a wee bit over, you might say. However, free shipping. And uh, I could actually see the stuff on the back instead of paying extra for shipping. So. I actually picked this one off, up off eBay simply because the dude took a picture of the back and for whatever reason, if, if you actually work for Coyote Tactical Solutions, a big thing, huge thing I would recommend, especially if you want to improve your sales, is actually get a picture of the back of this. If you go online and stuff, you can, you won't, I couldn't find any pictures of this. Everything I found was still the older version, so this is a pretty big upgrade. It does seem slightly better. That's the same material, but it just feels better, but actually, you know what? No, 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 look at that, see? Reinforced stitching to make sure these don't rip out. The laser cut's also very pretty. You actually got some reinforced stitching up here on the uh, Velcro, which wasn't as cleanly done. Yeah, it's still good, really good, mind you, but it's just slightly better done up here. Yeah, I think the stitching, actually, yeah, the overall quality of the stitching is slightly different. Maybe a different machine, but it looks better here. So they're, they're making improvements. Always good. They're innovating and they're making cool gear and that's stuff that I really appreciate outside of just being made in the US of A. So, if you're thinking about something to do for a really simple medical pack that you can throw in your backpack, carry anywhere, do anything and everything with, always, always, always have medical supplies on you. Doesn't even necessarily have to be a gunfight. You could get attacked by a bear. There are bears outside. And no one wants to get mauled by a bear. So you know, chest seal. Or, you know, scare the bear away, be bigger than the bear. I'm not an outdoor survivalist yet. So that's all I got for you guys. If you got any questions, go ahead, feel free, hit me up. I could probably do a contents blowout for everything that's actually in the uh, package that I'm carrying. Some people will carry different things, but you know, uh, most importantly, carry the team. So cheers everyone, stay chivalrous. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.